Recently, you couldn't walk through downtown El Segundo without stumbling upon great works of art. Chris Lay had a chance to document this tremendous experience and shares all the sights and sounds. The El Segundo Art Walk is really exciting because we have so many creative businesses in town that I think are sort of hidden treasures in the South Bay and it allows patrons the opportunity to take studio tour visits of these amazing businesses that they maybe wouldn't normally have a chance to see. We have local artists showing and selling their work in each venue. So it's a lot of fun and a lot of interesting things to see. For the Art Walk, it'll be my uh, Surf and Turf series, a series inspired by land and sea. So you'll see charcoal and coffee drawings of sea life and farm animals, along with abstract paintings that have the feel of the ocean and its movement, and lino block prints, which is sort of a new medium for me. El Segundo is such a special city in the South Bay. I think it's the only one that really has a treasure trove of artistic culture. And as MOA, I think, was really like the anchor and the pioneer to that happening. For the first time, we are exhibiting uh, 27 paintings by uh, German artist Norbert Tadeus. This is a partnership that we did with LACMA, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. It's such a great time, I think, to be in El Segundo because there's so many creative individuals and businesses and makers. Um, and it's just, it's wonderful to have this for the community and it brings the community together and art can be a vehicle for community and togetherness. This is my first art walk uh, I'm participating in. I'm an organic artist. I've been uh, developing uh, slowly over the last five or six years. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for the public not only to discover the artists in El Segundo, but to, to discover the town of El Segundo. It's a fabulous town to, to live in, to work in. There's a lot of great artists here, uh, and, uh, and it's only just becoming known. Mm -hmm. 